Thanks, guys. Well, Dana, another fun night, man. We had finishes. We had a war. Talk us through decision-making back there. Yeah, so obviously let's start with the first fight, Alan. Uh, beautiful knee in the clinch and a lot of other beautiful things. Perfect rear naked choke. I mean, if you looked at, if you looked at what a rear naked choke looks like and how it should be done, it really doesn't get any better than that. One of my things is he's 23 years old. He's young. He's, he's, the kid's got so much more time. And, and uh, I, I don't like bringing kids in that are young, that, 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 that you know, could get a little more experience. But then you look at this kid and look who he's fought. Eric Anders, Hernandez. He's fought all these, these tough guys. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring Brendan Allen in. I'm going to give this kid a shot. Throw the slow roll in there. I like it. I'm going to bring him. I'm, I'm going to bring him in and give him a shot. Uh, you know, he's got a lot of real good experience. So we'll, we'll see how he does. Congrats, Brendan Allen. The next fight. I mean, this, this is a no brainer and I'm sure everybody expected this. He didn't make weight. Siler didn't make weight. You got to make weight. You can't show up here the, to the Contender Series and not make weight. You can't do it. Um, obviously, the kid's tough. The kid's really well-rounded. One of the things about Siler in the first round is that Lawrence puts so much pressure on you. My thing was, is this kid going to be able to, you know, is he going to be able to go for three rounds with, with Lawrence in his face? That's how Lawrence, you know, went undefeated 5-0. and oh. The guy can take big shots and come forward. I like Siler. I think he's a talented kid. I think he's got a ton of heart. I think he's got all the things he needs to redeem himself. I don't know how we're going to do that, but we'll figure it out. And, you know, I, I don't think there's the kid's 9-0. and oh. I don't think there's any doubt that the kid's going to end up in the UFC. He's just got to figure out how to redeem himself after not making weight. So we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, so, Dantel, uh, he had another opportunity to come back here again. I think that, you know, when, when you... Uh, Every time you fight, it's an experience. You know, you either learn something or you move forward and, 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 and uh, you know, get to that next level. Came in in great shape. He looked faster. Put pressure on him the whole time. When the 10-second clapper clapped, he exploded. He went in. He tried to make something happen, and he did. He finished the fight. We always need heavyweights. Get over here, kid. Third time's the charm, Dante Mays. All right. O'Day. He called himself a Picasso. And I like when people talk shit and then actually back it up and actually come out and, you know, do what they say they're going to do. Um, he delivered. I liked him stand. One of the things that I liked about his fight is we got to see him everywhere. I like when you get to see these guys everywhere, you know, not just in their strengths, but, you know, saw him standing. Looked great in the clinch. He was on top. Then he ends up on the bottom. You said it perfectly to him. Anybody who's ever seen this kid fight, you really don't want him on the bottom. He's nasty from the bottom. Comes in against a really, really tough guy and wins impressively. Get over here, O'Day. O'Day Osborne. All right. Antonio. So I really respect the fact that this kid came from Brazil didn't make it the last time we, we we didn't end up taking him he had another fight he fought that fight anyway he comes over here and he puts on the performance that he put on tonight i can't say no to you twice get your ass over here <laughs> antonio hoyo what a night dana unbelievable when you're sitting back there making these decisions i mean what are some of the biggest factors that go into those decisions well you know one of the things that we look at is is you know how much these kids are putting everything on the line to try to get this opportunity. And I want to bring everybody in. I don't want to say no to anybody because I know what's on the line. I know how hard they've worked and, and, and what's at stake here. Um, but you, you, really have to, you really have to perform. You have to come in and you have to show us something special. And even in the case where if we didn't take you and we're bringing you back again, show me something. Thank you, know? you so much, Dana. What a night. I appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right, Brendan Allen, come on back. Congratulations, Brendan. What did you just say to Dana there? I didn't hear it. Uh, what's up with that November 2nd card in MSG? Uh, I'll show you my skill. It has nothing to do with age. Uh, I've got all the skill in the world. I like it. Already setting a date. Talk through you know, what this moment is like for you. I know that you have so much wrapped 
up in this moment. You have a baby on the way. You have a, a friend's memory that you are, are fighting on behalf of. Is it hard to go out there and, and stay mentally focused, or do all those things push you? Uh, they push me in training, but when it comes to stepping in the cage, I just know I have to be calm. I know that when I'm calm, I'm at my best, and that's what I need to do. So I just stay calm, stay relaxed, and just kind of pick off the of things of what the other guy is doing, which is what I did in this fight, yep. stay a little calm, and uh, it works for me. Congratulations, and welcome so to the UFC. Thank you. Thank you. Dontel, come on back. <laughs> Dontel Mays, congratulations. Congratulations, man. That UFC heavyweight division has some smoke heading for it. What do you want to say to Aries right now? I uh, love you, Daddy's on his way home tomorrow. Well, as you're sitting back there and Dana is kind of describing what he saw in your fight, what's going through your head? Uh, I just got to get better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know it's always room for improvement. So uh, next time I step in the cage, the octagon, I'll show a better version of myself. Well, if we see an even better version, that's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty scary thing, man. Congratulations and welcome to the UFC. Thank you. I'm gonna give a shout out uh, to my team back home, Bronx Hill, in uh, my in my team, uh, Jackson Wink. Uh, love ya. Thank you. Thanks. Congrats, Ode. Come on back. Man, congratulations! What a huge moment. Oh, man. Welcome to the UFC. I know you already talked to him once, but now that you've got the contract, now that their teacher is also a UFC fighter, what do you want to say to those kids back home that you teach? Uh, first and foremost, um, I just want to thank God because without God, I'm nothing. Um, so that's first and foremost. And um, <clears throat> like I said to the kids, uh, don't let anybody ever, 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 ever tell you you can't do something. Pursue your dreams, man. Pursue your dreams. Whenever you b believe it, at the age. A young age, I was, you know, I was in Jamaica at a young age watching the airplanes fly over top, and that's when I first had that divine intervention. So to the kids watching, pursue your dreams and, and go for it 100%. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't go for your passion, okay? Do it 100%. Don't let anybody put you down. Do it. Watch out, UFC Bantamweights. Congratulations, Ode. Welcome to the UFC. Also, I just want to say, uh, so I'm sorry, uh, to my opponent, thank you so much for coming out here, man. Uh, I know you didn't get it tonight, but keep on pushing, man. Much respect. Thank you so much, Ode. Come on back, Antonio. Man, I feel like I just talked to you. <laughs> Congratulations. What, what a huge moment for you. What's, what's this mean to you and your family? Man, it's, I, I can put in words, I, I, you know, Everyone right here worked so much and, and I abdicated for since the start. I, I started doing this 21 years old and abdicated my life doing this. And this is finally the, the reward. I know I have a lot to come. I have a lot to, to, prove, to prove. I have a lot of work to do, but it's, it's finally here. You have, a, you have a degree in business. You gave up a career in business. Does this feel like vindication of that decision? I mean, it, 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 if it was or not, doesn't matter, because that's really what I love to do. I, I don't even think about uh, what, what I miss out, because I'm not missing out on anything doing what I love, and, and, I, and that's what I want to keep doing. Thank you, family. Thank you. Look, Grandma, here, I have your rosemary. Thank you. Teu texto, vovó. Beijo. Congratulations, and welcome to the UFC. Thank you. Thank you so much.